Um, happy Mother's Day. This is a Mother's Day, um, I don't know, special edition. <laughs> so my name's Nayeli and Doug is not with me, um, right now at least. Uh, he took the kids to get haircuts. Uh, it's already 2.53 in the afternoon and this morning I went to get my eyebrows done and I went to a Mother's Day luncheon, um, came home. This vlog is about um, the things that we were not told um, to expect when we were expecting to be a mother. And so, you know, you hear the, to me, the glorious part of um, having a child, being pregnant, all of the good things, even when you get the books and what to expect. But there are a few things I feel like no one really told me or um, I didn't read in a book or you know online about being a mother. And one of those many things um, is just really the anxiety that comes along with being a mother. Um, I think it starts like almost the minute they're born, you're just always concerned about them. Are they breathing? <laughs> Um, are they doing everything they're supposed to do? You know, hitting those milestones. And then once you get past that age where um, you can, I think SIDS is one of the things that, where they can, like sudden infant death syndrome, where they can die from like when they're born till I think it goes up to like one now. There's even an initiative here in Columbus, Ohio, um, Celebrate One. It's just this whole campaign around you know, getting your child to the age of one. You get anxiety, like you're always worried about them. And I mean, mine are only two and three, but I think just in those three years of being a mother, almost four years, um, it's one of those things that will never go away. And I get it now, because I guess it's annoying when your parents are worried about you, you know, through the teenage years and even like early 20s, or really always, they're concerned about you and you think it's annoying, but once you become a parent, you get it, like you're always concerned, like are you okay? I mean, just a little rash. I freak out about everything. <laughs> um, but I think it's probably there for every mother to some extent. Second thing that I think people tell you about, but you're just like, yeah, I'll get it, I'll have it together when I have a child, <laughs> is that you never have time for anything. I mean like nothing. I mean, sure, I could probably be a little more organized than I once was at some point, but I think freaking out over like every spill like gave me so much anxiety and then like I would like pounce on my kids like, oh my God, be careful. You know, I, I went from being that crazy parent to now what's behind me, which is your chaos like oh we'll just let them be kids let them jump around and junk the house up like I can get to it later but later never come I mean like literally I'm gonna spend part of my Mother's Day weekend and I'm sure um, Doug will help but like I have to clean because I hate seeing this like <laughs> sometimes I'm like I should just throw away all of their toys and just start brand new and be like minimalist and you can have five toys in a corner and that's all you get um, so that's one of the things. Um, it's just that you never have time. But yeah, so those are a couple of things. Um, and while I'm doing this, I'm actually gonna go take a break to go run while they're getting their hair cut. Um, then probably when they come back, we can all help and clean. So. Okay, so I just got back from a three mile run. Um, I'm like drenched. But let this be like a testament to Fenty makeup. Um, I hate running in makeup because my face breaks out like a 14 year old girl. Um, but I like was rushing as I normally am. So if I have to, I don't have to, but if I just run in the makeup, I have to like wash it off right away. So I'm gonna go wash it off right now. But before I did that, so excuse like the sweat. Um, I did want to share with all the moms that are watching that Fenty makeup is amazing. So now we are taking a family walk um, with the kids and Kenyon. The kids got their haircuts. They look so adorable. <laughs>
the last thing that I think no one told me about um, while I was expecting or even after having children is just um, crap I'm gonna cry <laughs> the joy that they bring to your life like like you think oh life's so awesome I'm young and <laughs> I've got a good job or I got a good spouse or whatever the case may be you think you have this great life but the joy that they bring um, is just unmatched like it's the best thing and feeling in the world to have kids that um, love you that you can share your life with um, yeah they're like the best thing ever um, so <clears throat> With that said, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I hope you enjoy your day. Um, and just make sure to uh, enjoy your day. <laughs> That's it. Bye. Oh, you want to sleep? You get the mail? No. But you got the mail.